Joko Widodo's flagship jobs law in Indonesia is facing its first legal challenge. Labor unions say the law attacks workers' rights. Chandi Vidvani explains from Jakarta. Two of Indonesia's largest labor unions have filed for a judicial review against the recently passed job creation law just one day after President Joko Widodo signed the law into effect. Now, the new law, which was accelerated through parliament and passed earlier than expected, has been a source of anger for workers in the past month. And they've held nationwide protests and strikes to show their opposition. Remember, the law is a cornerstone policy of President Joko Widodo's second term in office and it makes sweeping changes to simplify regulations slash red tape and aims to make Indonesia more attractive to foreign investors. Now, at the start of his second term, President Widodo made it very clear that having Indonesia move forward was very important to him, even going so far to say that he was willing to do anything, including clobbering those who stood in the way of progress. Now, he has made it clear that he aims to expedite economic transformation transformation in his second term and that this is certainly part of the legacy that he is looking to leave behind. Now with time running out, this is his final chance at lifting Indonesia's economy. The workers have said that the law is unfair and its provisions take away their rights, including cutting down generous severance packages which have kept some foreign investors at bay. Businesses, as we know, have welcomed the new law, but some analysts say that the law still needs the right operating regulations in order to be fully effective. And getting that will take work and time. It has to be disseminated to the local government, uh, to the business, to the trade unions, so that everybody understand about uh, what is the government uh, targets. And it will take some time. Um, it won't be easy uh, to complete all this technical regulation with, uh, within a uh, short time. President Widodo has previously said that he welcomes a judicial review on the law. He has defended the law, saying it will create jobs for millions of Indonesians who are currently unemployed. Labor unions, meanwhile, have appealed to the Constitutional Court to judge their case as fairly as possible. And labor unions have plans to stage more protests next week.